All right, so you probably just watched the 2024 uh, Fink video on the main channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we've made the call that we're we're going to sell the truck. Uh, we're going to try. Well, we're going to attempt to sell the truck. We're going to move it on to the new owner. Um, I'm going to put all of the details. The proper ad's going to be up on Race Desert. We'll put um, we'll put a, a link down the bottom here somewhere so you can go in there and see all the information, which will probably get a little bit more detailed on what spares it's got and everything that goes with it. But I thought I'd take this opportunity um, while it's right in the middle of a prep right now from Fink or just started a prep from Fink. The car's gonna be fully prepped, 100% prepped, ready to race. Um, I would be interested, depending on the race and the time frame, if someone buys the truck, um, we'd come and support it for the first race, um, run you guys through it. A Couple of things that I do, wanna, I do wanna say though, before we get into the details of the truck. Um, I have, I've learnt a lot from this and I've, I've run this team like I run any other one of my businesses. This thing comes completely documented with a full QMS system. So prep sheets, prep intervals, life cycles on parts, full bill of materials, supplier list. If you're a little bit scared of getting into off-road racing, if it seems daunting, which it is, so I can guarantee you that, you need to have to run a, a, a trophy truck. If someone would have told me back at the start what it takes to run a trophy truck, well, I wouldn't have listened, I would have done it anyway, but if I was smart, I probably wouldn't have done it, to be honest with you. Now I've done it and I know it, it's, it is it's like running any, any other business and it's fun. The back end of the process is really, really fun. The learning of everything, the life cycling of the parts, the finding the supplies, but the one thing that this truck will come with is a full, I hate the word, uh, but it's a turnkey solution for somebody who wanted to get into off-road racing. You know, it comes with three years worth of blood, sweat and tears, all documented. Um, like a business. So we can provide that to anyone. Um, we'll come out and support the first race. I'll bring uh, some of my team out with the knowledge of the car. We could offer some training um, at an additional cost if you wanted us to prep the truck uh, for the next couple of races. Um, we'd definitely be interested in doing that. We have the knowledge and the team here to do it. All of the spare parts, all of the tools, anything that's specific to this truck is going to go along with the sale. You know, the the stand safe, for example, and everything else, every specific tool um, that needs to go with the truck. So full turnkey solution, and we also have the opportunity if someone required it, uh, the flat deck trailer, the Patriot T, uh, TT730 that this thing rides on, uh, can also be part of the sale as well, if you're interested. So it's a really good opportunity right now. You've seen all the footage, you know what the truck looks like with the body on. Um, you know, it looks all glitzy and gorgeous and all the rest of it, but diving into the, the depths of, I suppose, what we've done uh, to this truck since, um, since we got it, and we've actually turned this thing into a very, very competitive race car. I knew Gene Taylor from Gat very, very well for, you know, when he built this truck, you know, I got to know him really well and this guy's, it, it's, he's the best fabricator that I've ever seen. I've, 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 I've never seen fabrication and attention to detail on anything um, like what this guy produces. So it's, this is a world-class build from one of the best respected and best known fabricators um, in the off-road racing scene in America. Anyone from the States uh, who knows off-road racing obviously knows uh, Jane Taylor and where he comes from who he done his apprenticeship under and all the rest of it. So the car comes from one of the best builders, one of the best fabricators uh, in the US. Jay only built, I think, three of these chassis uh, before he decided to, to not continue building trucks. He specialised in, in 10 cars and class ones, and he's built a lot of very successful class ones. Obviously the Alpha program, he was very heavily involved in that uh, in the United States. Um, and all you need to do is come and have a look at the truck and you see the quality and the attention to detail uh, on this thing. It, it's pretty intense. When Gene finished the truck um, in the US and it, it went to its first owner, the car wasn't, it wasn't running. Um, so the suspension was never tuned. The wiring harness that was in it was not up to the standard of, of what a trophy truck requires. The engine package um, that was in it was, was not, uh, was also not, very good, um, but we've gone through and we've fixed all of that up. So I suppose the three major components in the truck that we've changed and the, the three major areas we spent on development is we've had the engine built by uh, Stuart Knowles, so this is now a seven litre. Um, it's running a RHS block, uh, CID heads, uh, Carly crank, Manton rocker gear, Manton push rods. It's all the best of the best stuff. 
Um, it's obviously got eight stack. Uh, it's cable throttle. One of the changes I would make uh, in this, it's got Albans uh, ST6 behind it as well, so six speed sequential. Uh, one of the changes that I would make to this, the only last piece of development would be to convert this thing to a fly-by-wire and, and put paddles in it, um, which the new owner can do, and we've got all the right connections if you did want to do that. Um, the second thing that we, we, it took us a very, very long time to sort it out is the shocks, the valving in the shocks and the spring rates. Uh, we found that the spring rates on the car were much too light uh, and the valving just really wasn't up to it. You can see, especially from Fink 24, how hard I can push this thing through the bumps, you know, through the rough stuff, um, you know, big call, subjective call. Some people will agree, won't agree. I think this thing goes through the bumps as good as or better than any of the other trucks in Australia at this point in time. You watch this car go through the bumps, it just flumps, it, ju it just floats, picks the front up, and the big hits is where this car really, really works. You know, this thing sakes up the big hits, it doesn't do anything stupid, it doesn't want to lift the back up or bury the nose, it's just, it, the, the car is working. We have got this thing dialed in. And that's a huge thanks to the team at uh, SDG, Suspension Development Group, uh, over in California. We sent the shocks over to them. I spent a lot of time with Jason Duncan and, and his team measuring the car, getting the ride heights right, getting the spring rates, and it's, it's, it just works. The car works. Anybody can jump in and drive this car now. The third and a very, very big project was we rewired the car from start to finish. Now, if you've gone through that process before, uh, you know what goes into it. That was probably the single best, biggest expense that I've spent on the car. So it has a brand new wiring harness um, all the way through. So I'm not going to go into detail, detail, detail. Um, I'm just going to show you guys through a little bit the bigger components. Uh, brand new set of coolers from PWR, front to back. Every cooler is brand new uh, in 2022. Uh, obviously, PWR have, have taken care of us. I have a great relationship with, um, with the team over there. Uh, they took care of us and put a new set of uh, coolers in the truck for us. It's got 22 new seats and harnesses, so you, I think you've still got another three years on them. And another major that we did in 2022 was we installed a brand new uh, fuel cell, Harman fuel cell, um, and increased the fuel capacity to 305 usable litres. The car's currently running on uh, a, a blend of 105 and E98, which I'll be honest with you, it's a bit of, bit of a pain in the ass, but it takes all the knock out of the engine. Um, the engine's probably got another 500 k's before it needs to come out again, so it's done a thousand k's, so it does need to service, needs to come out another 500 k's. Um, Stu's got a, a new set of pistons there that um, we can throw in and bring the compression back down and just run the thing on straight 105, which is won't make the same power, um, but it'll definitely make life a lot easier. Bump stop install is something that we did uh, with Gene over here, and another, actually another really big part that we did over here. Um, is we relocated the rear sway bar. We found the old sway bar that was linked at the front here and ran off the front, just didn't have enough rigidity, didn't have enough travel. So Gene redeveloped the sway bar in the back. Frame was um, all crack tested um, when we got the car and then we sandblasted it and powder coated it. So as far as components go, um, you've got a tube works rear end. I've got a new set of hubs coming for it, a uh, refurbished set of hubs. Uh, some of them might be remade, some of them might be refurbed. Um, you've also got a TubeWorks third member. We've got three different sets of drop gears um, for the car as well. So if you want to run it, run it on 37 or 40 inch tyres, I'm finding now that the car with the new suspension setup works much, much better on 40 inch tyres than it does on 37s. It was originally designed for 37s, but now everything's kind of been sprung and set for 40 inch tyres, which you need for the big bumps. Um, you've got two Motec PDMs, Motec ECU, two screens, um, a brand new Lowrance HDS9, and then spare parts. We've got everything that you need beside motor and gearbox. So there's a spare third member, there's a full spare set of trailing arms, uh, front arms as well, uppers and lowers. Um, so just for cycling, so we can get to races a lot quicker. So we normally keep a set of arms fully prepped here with new Himes, new uni balls in, so we can just bring the truck back in, switch them out and head out to the new race if we've got to turn it around um, really, really quick. As far as the price goes, um, that'll be up on uh, Race Desert. Uh, look, if it, if it sells, great, fantastic. Um, if it doesn't, then uh, we might rework uh, the plan a little bit. So we're throwing it out there, see what happens if someone's interested in it. It's, a, it's, a, it's built as a 6100 truck, um, but it's now compared to, when this truck first came to Australia, there was a lot of talk, it's too big, it's too big, it's too big. 
Now it's nowhere even close to being one of the biggest cars. You see the new Masons uh, that are here in Australia now, the G6, even the Tiscos, they're all this size or a little bit bigger, a little bit wider now. So it's, I think Gene was maybe a little bit ahead of the game back when he built it um, that time, all that time ago. And it's just, um, look, it'll be sad to see it go. We've, um, we've learned everything that we know about trucks and off-road racing in, in this car. And the reason for sale is um, we, we've just got some other plans that won't be confirmed until, uh, until we find out whether the truck's sold or not. But keep watching Patriot Games. Uh, we'll let you know. And the plans obviously include, you know, the boys and, and bring the twins up to the next progression in their career. And I'm definitely not done yet after the results from Fink this year in this car. You know, it, it, it is capable of winning Fink. The car can do it. We proved it this year. Um, if there is a driver in it that's got a bit more talent than me, which is probably not that hard, I'm still learning a lot. Um, there's no reason that this thing can't go and win Fink. Or, um, you know, for the right guy that might want to take it back to the US and run it in the spec class over there or, or run it as it is, um, we can definitely assist with that. We're shipping to the United States on almost a weekly basis. So if you're in the US and you're interested in it, uh, we can definitely assist. We can put the thing in one of our containers and, and send it back over there and all of the spare parts that go with it. So there it is. 484 truck officially now for sale. Um, if you want more information, just head over to the Race Desert uh, ad. We'll put another link up again there. Contact through there and we'll be happy to show you through it. And if you're uh, a little bit nervous about getting into off-road racing or you're, you're progressing up, you're coming from a, uh, another class, um, we can assist with everything that you need and you, you get a lot of free advice that we uh, learnt from a lot of very, very hard knocks. Welcome.